Hello, I'm Safira Lou and welcome to my channel. Hello guys and welcome to this week's video. As requested, I am doing what is my uh, pencil case um, essentials, essentially. Uh, I tend to carry around different supplies with me a lot of the time, so I tend to swap out what's in here quite a lot. And I'll always take a, a wallet of lecture sets with me if I'm travelling anywhere. So this is my lecture set wallet, or one of them, and I have a select few colours in there. So it's kind of like... <sighs> I tend to swap out my supplies a lot depending on what I'm feeling in the mood for. Um, but yeah, uh, this isn't a very special pencil case. It's a Moomin's pencil case because I really like Moomin's and it's really cute and really pastel colour. And it's a really nice big pencil case. I got this from the works. This was 99p. It cost me next to nothing. A pencil case shouldn't have to cost you the earth. Um, just big enough so you can carry your supplies in it. As you can see, I've got key rings on here. This one is a design of my own. If you can see it's got the glare on there. Um, it's just a dear girl. And this is by Acid uh, Makara. Um, I'm obsessed with Steven Universe and have been for about two years now. And I absolutely love her work. And there is her information on the back so you guys can have a look. And uh, I think Bella's going to come and say hi in a minute because she's been a very noisy baby. But yes, um, so these are sort of like my pencil case essentials that I can't go without. Um, there's a lot in here, I'm going to warn you. <laughs> but let's open up and have a look. So, oh, look at all this swag. Oh, it's all over me. <laughs> so much in there. Anyway, so let's empty out. Oh my god. Okay. So as you can see... This pencil case fits an awful lot in it. Look how dirty it is on the inside. I've had this for so long, but that's um, so yeah. Look at it all. I always carry two letter set uh, pro markers with me if I can't manage to take the case, and I swap these out a lot of the time. And I tend to choose quite complementary colours so I can create a piece that's a very complementary with each other. And I do, can't usually carry more than two because well, I don't have the room, so I'll pop them back in there. Um, okay, <laughs> I have a set of Koi Pocket Sketch, uh, these are also by um, Makoran as well, uh, her link will be down below. Um, as you can see, this is a very, very well loved um, pad, I've had this for ages and I've only just read when I started picking up watercolours again, I found this and that's what I started using before I switched over to the Windsor & Newsome palette. But I have this and I always take one pencil aqua brush pen and a smaller um, pen as well. This one uh, was originally filled with ink so this creates like a bit of a grey wash in comparison to this one. But I take them both with me because it's easy, refillable and the palette isn't that big so I can carry it around. Okay. Oh, pop you there. <laughs> Everything's falling over. Um, I always carry a grey marker with me as well um, to create simple shading and yet again these get swapped out sometimes for darker colours for lighter colours depending on what the mood I'm in. Um, I tend to swap out my supplies quite a lot um, just to keep it fresh. And these are extensions for the pro markers so you can get a nice fine nib, can you see that? Um, there are like extension parts for the pro, um, pro markers so you can get really fine nibs. They can be quite difficult to get a hold of at the moment. Um, I don't know why, I think supplies might be running low. Um, Pentel Pocket Brush Refills. This is fairly new for me because I'm currently playing around with the Pentel Brush Pen, which is here. Um, I'm mixed feelings about Pentel Brush, um, but I'm keeping up with it because it's interesting to use. I have a wide selection of mechanical pencils and, and of course the refills to go with them. Um, this is because they all carry different sort of leads and because they all carry different sort of leads I can create different effects with mechanical pencils. The best thing is about having to carry around mechanical pencils is I don't need to sharpen them. Um, so this is really, really, uh, I absolutely love these and they're all from different places. These are the Pentel range and um, these were actually given to me by my mum because my mum uh, is an illustrator as well. And here's the cat. <laughs> Jesus. 
Um, so yeah, these are the Pentel Graph. Um, these are quite old, so I couldn't tell you where she got them from. It is very, very old and very, very loved and very much appreciated. And I have the refills for this, which are quite hard to get hold of for this particular range. And then just a cute mechanical pencil my friend gave me and one from <laughs> Paper Chase. What are you doing? What are you doing? It's cat to stand. Anyway. Um, I also have a, oh look, there's more lead though. <laughs> um, I also have this rubber, which is just a 35p rubber from um, Wilco's, Wilkinson's, which is a chain shop in the UK. And it's just really simple and really easy to use. I do want, I do just like use standard erasers. I don't really use anything else. It's just, I don't tend to use anything that isn't really um, but this is just really handy to have because it's expendable I do have more than one of these so I can't wait to get another one <laughs> ah! um, okay also I have two manga car flex balls a brown and a black and um, depending on what kind of line variation I want to uh, yeah and also for fine liners I do have two uni pin um, I carry two of the same. Um, I usually use 0 0.05 or 0 0.1 and if I want to go thicker lines I tend to go for the Manga Car Flex one. Um, the reason why I always carry two is in case one dies on me and uh, these, I have like hundreds of these so I just swap them out when they completely run out but these I don't have as many of. I have a whole box of like markers, it's insane, I have a, too much, too much. <laughs> um, Okay, on to like gold markers. I have the Decarola Reynolds, uh, which is one of my favourite, as you guys know. It's extremely difficult for me to get a hold of, and this one I've had for about four years. So it's quite an old pen. It's still going though, it's still going strong. And um, I also have a, these are all my silvers. So Uni Paint Marker, Pentel Paint Marker, and just the standard Uni Bolt Signo. Um, silver pen. These are just because they all create different effects and because I'm trying out different silver markers because I want to try and replace my gold my gold and my silver deco rollers um, but as you can see I've got silver and there's a Pentel one again and a Uni Ball Signo uh, there and it's just depending on how uh, how my variation is on the how much gold I want and stuff so that's what they are uh, there's the Unipin Pos Uni Posca. Um, someone recommended me to try this out, and I've been using it an awful lot lately in my sketchbook. Um, so, this is what I tend to use a lot of the time. And white markers as well. That that Unipin that Uni Posca is also a white marker. Um, I have the hybrid gel. This is by Pentel, and I've got a Uni Ball Signo yet again. Um, this one is much better than this one, um, but it's, yet again it depends on how white I want the image to what I choose. And last but not least, I have one of these. <laughs> um, this is because it's just like really good if you want to do like really quick light sketches and you don't want to use a pencil. Because um, sometimes I like to see colour sketches through um, like my work and stuff. So that is my pencil case. Um, these are some of my favourite supplies to carry around with me and they're really good for like travelling as well because they're nice and handy to take with me. So I usually take this um, when I want to draw and I usually take my sketchbook as well. So I usually take them together and if I have got a bit more room I'll take my set wallet as well. So these are the sort of things like I always carry around with me unless I say if I don't have enough room I'll always carry them. And if I'm really short on room, I'll just take a pencil and maybe a few markers or so in a smaller pencil case. I'll like probably take a pencil case like this. I've got a lot of pencil cases and they all hold different sorts of equipment. Um, but this is like my travel pencil case. So, do you guys have any supplies that you actually prefer? Um, let me know down in the comments down below. Did you see any of your favourite supplies in here? Um, maybe comment down below. Um, 
if you like my content maybe subscribe and I hope to see you in my next video if you have any requests let me know and as always folks stay creative bye